right, welcome everybody to the comic panel. I'm Cody. I'm Taylon. Characters look crazy to me. And today we're going to be talking about um, Batman Arkham Asylum, A Serious House on Serious Earth by Oh, Grant is Morrison it Ice Shield 21? And art by Dave McKean. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, yeah, and that song that you heard was the main title for Batman Arkham Asylum game. Man. Huh. I have no idea if necessarily this that game was based off of this book, but um, I mean, actually, I, I looked into it a little bit, and it was partially based on it. It wasn't, you know, there. I think you know we, we can say that like this book didn't have a lot of um, rich story to go off of, you know, mm. but like it did take some basis off of it. And I, some I inspiration. guess the premise is probably yeah, um, es essentially the premise, yeah. yeah. Out the, yeah, um, the, the premise of the story was taken. Yeah. Freaking um, cooking mangas are the best. But yeah, just uh, kind of jumping ever. into it. So, um, basically, yeah, I guess we can explain the premise real quick. Basically, there has been a prison riot in Arkham Asylum, the famous uh, uh, mental institution of mm -hmm. Batman. Uh, lore that is um, it houses all of his uh, enemies and rogues and so there's a riot and he has to go in there th that's their I know what you're talking about and that's not what you're talking about hostages <laughs> that's like to, everybody's um, pretending to be Italian at the same time and it's also and so a then romance he movie goes in, releases the prisoners and then you know he has to go through the asylum well Enemies, There's like, a lot of movies down. where they make pizza in them. And that's kind of the, the basic, basic Have you premise. read a food manga? Have um, you read one? Okay. The, the story also. Okay, so you don't know what there's like. <laughs> in like a Batman story or just in general? I will say, like, this book is old enough. Well, that it not for that reason. <laughs> it's just really dumb, yeah. by my opinion, and my entire family's thought. opinion. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's the thing. Uh, I thought when you brought it up, you like, liked it. I was like, it's well, or somebody's got to like yeah. it. Um, definitely thereabouts. And, like, um, basically, uh, before the show started, we were kind of talking about uh, Batman The Dark Knight Returns, and that was released, like, shortly before this book was, too. Um, and I think it even, like, makes, like, a little bit of a reference to it in this, but I'll, I'll talk about that later. But, um, yeah, basically, though, I think, yeah, uh, Something that I had read. Fan service. Uh, about this book was that are, like. Are you, are you talking about the fan uh, service? It was just saying that it, this this along with the Dark Knight. Are, Returns are you talking about? Yeah, I was about to ask. Are you talking about Food Wars? Or are you talking about the thing that, we read? Um, because Food Wars, I heard. <laughs> out of like, basically the Adam West television show, where it was oh. like all comedy and self parody and stuff. And so, like, that's basically where the comics were before this point, and then they took a more serious tone. Yeah, huh. I mean, I as far as cross yeah. game, it does have like fan service yeah, moments, about, and like, like the you know the I change, mean, like, mm -hmm. what yeah. comics were involved in that? They were they were very bizarre. Um, yeah, I mean, I was gonna say so uh, Adachi is like aspect he it, does a lot of romance stuff, and they tend to have. Yeah. Small so, snippets of um, fan service like that. I'd say, yeah, as far like, as like uh, industry thoughts, wise, they're I, very tasteful you know, compared to some. Honestly, so like, I tended me, to like, a lot of eh, the, whatever. Like, they're not like, exaggerating it cool anything. It it's like it could be a I moment think, a teenage boy would like, notice. Kind of hard for me but like, it's still a little times. bit weird, especially the moments where he's like not present and they still oh, have yes, like, well, she's got to take off her clothes to wash them. I'm like, nope. why are we yeah, here? Why are we to, seeing uh, this? Zoom in with my phone. I was like, <laughs> uh. yeah. That's some people are like yeah. that. 
I legitimately mm-hmm. know people. And who I can't like imagine that. getting it like like in theater print people, in the especially. <laughs> <laughs> Just being all like. So you had to take it off. It might stain. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, I I see that though. It's like um cuz I feel like the 90s got like very experimental with like I don't God. know longer stories and more like I don't know how to explain it but like it like it didn't really care as much yeah I about, she's very like, blunt she's straightforward she's I don't know, a tomboy psychological um, dealings and maybe more I so do think it's supposed to show that, that despite the fact that too, too we haven't even said who it is but like despite the fact that this decades. female character uh <laughs> says she hates yeah, the main character Ko, yeah. mm-hmm. I, uh, she nonetheless, I see feels very comfortable saying. around him i guess i mean I, honestly like, I, I didn't feel like it was particularly old like but i mean my acumen for you know comics and when they came out isn't that great <laughs> but um Ah, that's one way to think of it, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I could see that, that uh, too, where it's like, yeah, just, uh, and, and I, I think I agree where it's all like. I mean, as she says, I, she likes. I don't see it yeah. as like, you know, particularly. And I hate like, I mean, him. Obviously, it's <laughs> I do like, love. <laughs> it's a DC book. That one character is Senda walking style, in, so like the new introduction be, like, to the second part of the, the series. Era, you know, it's like not be a coming in, being like, "What's going on in here?" He's like, mm-hmm. "Oh, but, so you um, found us," and just like yeah, putting his arm over her shoulder. Kind of like, eh, it could be, <laughs> just, like, you know, being stupid. Could have come out in 2010. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was um. So like my, I'm I'm actually kind of glad that we didn't. Um, talk about this last week because it gave me a chance to reread the comic because the first time I read it I could not get into the comic because the art like it was just so distracting <laughs> and then the second time I was like okay I'm gonna ignore the okay, art okay let's just, let's like, talk about like story. you know the first section <laughs> so when they're like, like okay, fourth graders can and then we can talk about, about like the time mm, skip mm-hmm. yeah so I mean, so the setting, I mean, yeah, he is pretty average as far as personality. Um, I, I would say the setting, you know, Ko, mm-hmm. his parents own, yeah, his parents own a sports equipment place. And then next door is um, a family of like four girls mm-hmm. and their dad and they own yeah. you know, a batting and cage. And I, I liked the batting um... cage. Yeah. Basically, uh, I didn't notice this at first either, but basically the the world outside yeah, the um, um, of the asylum uh, they have a cafe is along with it too, so has to, more like solid things. forms. And I mean, their but families are pretty close. The world inside, considering like the, the girls all get along with Ko for like, the most more part, like the little sister, has, like, color, the eldest though, sister, and most of all, of course, the second colors. sister. Uh, Wakaba. So I thought that was like really interesting, yeah. even though like yeah, I, I agree that it was, I would like, say also her personality is very like almost vanilla. Like, you know, it, uh, <laughs> I am nice person. Yeah, I'm nice and I'm cute, kind of thing. Going on. Yeah. Now the the first question that I had about this book um, was that I found it interesting that it was in DC's Black Label. Oh, I mean, I don't think that DC's Black Label only came about. <laughs> I'll say once again, I do know people who are like that. I don't know if I encourage them to be that young a, and be like, you know, and I shall get married to that person. It but you know, it's also like kids. Necessarily, um, that is more <laughs> mature. Hmm. I don't know. I, I, uh, I, do, I suppose it is more mature. Yeah, I mean, it, it at least has like some swear words. And has like mm. I don't know graphic murder in like yeah. yes. two yeah. different instances yes. at least. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Some yeah, shocking images of the the way that the villains are being treated. Mm-hmm. 
Oh, you know what I also found interesting was that like this a, was a, a little fish bag or book something, and not made up yeah. of issues. Mm-hmm. It was one really, really long issue. <laughs> um, and so, okay, so the the issue provides a lot of backstory a into thing. what I assume is a new character at the time, Amadeus Arkham. Mm. And yeah. I was gonna he, say, he's like, the, I would he, complain about the one that. that. Yeah, built or at least funded the building. Up. Well, no, <laughs> it wasn't built. He turned his home into Arkham Asylum. Right. Yeah, his childhood home. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah. which yeah, I like. It. I mean, at first he lived in uh, Metropolis. I'm like, he should have just stayed there. <laughs> Poor guy. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> She's like, like obviously it's not the, working. Like, you know, the, so you need a replica that goes so they can keep each other company. Domino picture. It's yeah. like, <laughs> uh, yeah. which made me think. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, well, I'm sure he, well, I mean, I'm sure it's backed up by the story, but, like, I'm not thinking of any particular instance right now, but he was, I'm sure he was like, I want to, like, save the crazies. What, where are the crazies if they're not in Gotham? <laughs> so, I'm going to Gotham. Yeah. Well, I mean, I don't know if, like, Gotham was always, like, the, oh, what were you saying? Yeah, translator note. Yeah. I th I thought he went back because he wanted to no, he wanted to protect people from like turning into his mother. Or like he he wanted to cure like he wanted to help people who were dealing with mental illness yes. similar right. to his mother. Yeah, but the reason that he went to Gotham over like, you know, just starting a practice in Metropolis. Um, had to do Aoba? more with like you know. She's na being her name close is Fresh Leaves. To, uh, that that spot. So they're all very yeah. <laughs> and, yeah, because I think before and considering Batman, their cafe is called like Clover Cafe or Coffee. In yeah, that Coffee Clover <laughs> geographic <That's it>. area. <laughs> gotcha. Um. Yeah, so that's kind of um why he chose to be there but yeah oh. it's just like um also oh. kind of getting to the the end of the book too, i just the, realized the it around that he well he does like repetition in his stories and i do feel like it's kind of important suicide. and i just realized I the four leaf clover the no. four sisters what? nope that's, that's I, so nope. sad <laughs> Because isn't isn't four leaves lucky and like three leaves aren't so. I mean, s spoilers. Or it's a, or yeah, it's, a, there's it's like, like an old shaving. Yeah, razor, there's like so the many volumes in this series, oh, so okay. this is like the yeah. first thing I, that, I like, that majorly part. happens. I, I guess inciting it. incident yeah. kind of thing. <laughs> Basically, that, it, he, well, he repressed first of all, let's build up to it a little bit because, he, um, it, it's not like you know, obviously Wakaba, like, you know, she's interested in Ko, the main character, because, you know, they like, grew up together. They had birthdays the same day, so gotcha. they're very um, close, and, you know, he kind of being, on some I guess, elementary school boy. <laughs> Yeah, no. Yeah, yeah. He's yep, like, yeah, you, you know, you need to hold on to when we're on the bicycle. And she holds board. on. He's like, not that tight. Someone we know <laughs> might see us. Not... And of course, what is it? I I guess I would call them school bully. Like, um, what is it? Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, Kaishi. Uh, I I mean, yeah, he's he's rough, delinquent type. And he's... <laughs> I think yeah I mean it was essentially like as he went throughout the house because he was wandering he <laughs> the he was like you know slowly uncovering things until he finally got to the the secret room that was his mother's room where the act happened gotcha and then it was like ah I remember it's it's only like the kids who are actually fighting who get ranked because Ko is unranked <laughs> He's not sticking his neck out anywhere. Mm. <laughs> yeah. 
I also I kind of like the cover too. I never really gave it a lot later of on when they have the time skip, they like, uh, talk about it's um, weird, you know? Akaishi again, but, and like, he the cover hasn't fought since middle school, has, like, so he's it's unranked. Joker's face, kind of and then the kind other of, characters are introduced but also and he are has, still like, ranked, very ranked monstrous kind of teeth, you know, um, almost. But and then so yeah, you know, obviously he, of his mouth, it's kind basically. of a love triangle, I guess. Hmm. It's mostly just it's Akai, like, she really likes her, too, Wakaba, like, and it Wakaba makes it seem main like character this is gonna be are just going to be together centric. unless uh-huh. fate intervenes, which Story? fate intervenes. But it, it really isn't. It's like, you know, essentially he's just the doorman in this. Hmm. Yeah, I, yeah, the one that I read did not have that cover. Oh, really? I didn't yep. realize that. But yeah. The uh, uh, interesting cover, and it's the one that I'm most f- familiar with. Uh, it, know, I, I mean, the I narrator is Ko, ago, so right? he's like, I saw it. girl who I'm close to and best friends but, with um, and who likes me, she's prettiest. <laughs> yeah, that is a good uh, opening line, and I definitely didn't, even at, though I've read this book before, I didn't see it coming at first, uh, the, the twist at the end, basically. Oh, okay. Um, oh, you read this book before? I, yeah, I kind of forgot I that think I did. I he's at the age where he just doesn't know <laughs> how to deal it, with those it was feelings. So long ago. Like, mm-hmm. what do you do? But, She's um, prettiest kind of thing. Yeah, I was just all like, I, I totally didn't remember the ending at all. <laughs> gotcha. Gotcha, yep. But yeah. We also take the fighting. Yeah, we take, like, the fighter's ranking at oh, face value, and I think it's mostly Ko's, like, determination, too. Mm-hmm. Yep. But, yeah, so, I mean, the whole relationship, there's also, of <laughs> yeah, course, Aoba, which is, you know, she's, like, on one that, year younger really than Wakaba and Ko. Yeah, no, and, I definitely didn't. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. She's she's also very aloof in some ways. You know, she's decent at baseball for her age. But, you know, obviously, since she's a girl, people just don't take her seriously. She's not able to play with much of anybody, I would say. Oh. Oh, I see. <laughs> gotcha. Huh. Yeah, definitely. Okay. Yeah, also, that is another thing that even confused me at the beginning was I almost thought that he, because he said that he felt like a kid in the beginning, as you mentioned, I thought that he actually was a kid, and that really threw me off when, <laughs> at, towards the ending, I was like, wait, but did you kill your mom when you were a I'm kid? I'm pretty and sure like, no, they no, have no, it. I don't know like at this kid. time period yeah. when this is set, because it does feel like it's a little bit like I 90s, more of, even that though this came out like 2010 over here, I think. Ago. Yeah, I think I got translated in 2010. 1921. Yep, that is true. Mm-hmm. Yep. <laughs> Almost the, the anniversary <laughs> of a f- fictional <laughs> building. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Maybe we'll, we'll, we'll post something. Mm-hmm. Yes. He helped for like two seconds. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> I, I, I don't know. I think it's the whole thing of, like, if you want to be taken seriously, if you actually want to get good, yeah. like, you got to play right. with the boys' team kind uh, of thing. Yeah. Because the boys' like, team gets taken, you gets brought the all equipment, the gets all the attention. Or, like, who, who, like, you are the person who brought all this craziness, but that was referring to Batman. Mm-hmm. Like, he was the person that followed them together, powered it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> but you yeah. know about it. I I like how they kind of like um they're both. They kind of they're show both. Batman as like, you know, necessarily he like he is more like his villains than not like his villains, I guess. Mm-hmm. You know, he he is mad in his own right. You know, he has the, he has the madness in him, but it also seems to argue that, like, you know, potentially, despite that, he still is supposed to be on the outside, and they're supposed to be on the inside. I don't know. Mm. Like, yeah, when you said that, I didn't 
quite like understand like I didn't quite get that but then I remember that there was a panel where he was like I got to show them yeah why spend Arkham money on right a softball a way, team like, for girls all why would they play <laughs> that, that, paraphrasing right but, Uh, uh. <laughs> mm. Mm -hmm. oh, gotcha. I'm gonna be honest. Like I hated both those lines. <laughs> I, I was like, this is not Batman. Like, okay, first of all, why did he refer to himself in the third person? That's weird already. Well, no, I think that's that's pretty Batman of him to say. Batman. <laughs> yeah, I mean, he. I think at that point, Batman. Yeah, understands she had to that mention that symbol. I do feel know, like at times so she does it on purpose. Oh, okay. And gotcha. so it's like the symbol of Batman Teasing. is not afraid, especially talking to his close. I didn't think you know, she meant for that uh, to happen, but I do think she's teasing him. Gotcha. So, uh, as far as the list so goes, um, yeah. Not, I forgot about the fact that, that the most important yeah, okay. part of the list was the engagement ring. <laughs> Yeah. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Engagement was 20. Mm. Yeah, she left that as a spoiler. Mm. Oh, yeah, that, that is the other turn of this book at the end is uh, basically we find out that the, the true uh, originator of this riot was not one of the villains, but it was actually one of the. Uh, therapist, one of the psychologists that was there. Did did we even explain that? I don't know if we said so. Batman, so the asylum was taken over by villains. Right. Or, yeah. We we talked we about that. that. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Basically, it's uh. I'm not sure Dr. if she's leaving that kind of Cavend cookie trail. Cavendish, yeah. Cavendish, Whatever, yeah. Trail. And so he he's the one that found Arkham's <laughs> diary that makes up the um the uh, captions. <laughs> but I mean, so yeah, her sister of, sees uh, the list his, and uh, Aoba sees scenes, the list. It's like, basically. you can't do this. Okay. So and if uh, you get married to him, then he's so, my older um, brother, and I hate basically him. Basically, it's like kind of as in a very childish as, way. Like, and she, the yeah. the twist is revealed that Amadeus killed his mother. Um, I I think it's kind of it's also yeah comes to cooties, the same room, first of all most know, importantly the, the old and also room, I think it's just kind of general where, jealousy of uh, being like this is my sister and you're taking all the attention away uh, from me basically has or, one like of the my other sister could be like hanging out with me uh, from the beginning of the mm -hmm. book and mm -hmm. he's like ready to like basically sacrifice her that's just sibling the, stuff. Um, by killing her with a razor yeah. in the same way that mm -hmm. uh, uh, that the other, or er, Arkham, Amadeus, that's who <laughs> I'm trying to remember. There's a lot of names floating around right mm -hmm. now. I'm like, uh, this character. <laughs> so, so, so to be specific, so Dr. Cavendish is an administrator at Arkham Asylum. Oh, he's an And the woman that he held captive was Ruth Adams, who was a psychotherapist. Okay, okay. I mm -hmm. thought... I thought that he was a doctor, but apparently he's an administrator. Mm. I'm a doctor or something, I'm sure. Yeah, <laughs> maybe. I don't know. Um, mm. But yeah, basically, and he believes that Batman is the embodiment of this, like, uh, this, like, possess possession creature that haunted <laughs> um, Amadeus's mother, the bat. Mm. 
And then it's all like, yeah, I, I just, I actually really liked that line because like Batman seems like so confused almost. <laughs> like normally he handles like the situations where people are like, you know, crazy at him at their level. I, but yeah, he was just, like, I think she totally, values like, people shocked. who take he's, stuff like, seriously. I, I'm and so he's kind man. of lackadaisical attitude. <laughs> like you don't is, see my you know. man shape. I mean, her sister asks her, what kind of guy do you like? And she's like, I'm I think not, I like boys uh, who can bat at like yeah. 160 no, kilometers just, per like, hour. The, the like representation <laughs> yeah and I you know I wonder if something could be said too of like you know considering that we were talking about how he was viewing himself as a symbol in the beginning if like at that moment he was all like is the symbol a little too powerful you know I, I honestly like I don't think Honestly, he would like, out of I just think, like to me, respect like, you for her lose sister all your kind of thing. Cred I think he's. Just I like, think that's also yeah, why I'm he's protecting man. her so much. Like, <laughs> like if you want to be a symbol, like, you know, be the whatever. Symbol, well, like, yeah, but I mean, uh, like, also her if, or whatever, it's, and if it's if it's putting people apart, in like, danger, her alone. because also like, she's. I mean, because there's not a difference so much, between I did being use the word a symbol and I do being think she's a literal not spirit, not necessarily clueless, can, like a but demon like you said, spirit, she's so focused and, mm -hmm. you know, that she doesn't recognize it as flirting. She doesn't, because like, she doesn't like tell him off or anything. But she also is just like, "What do you want? Like, what are you talking yeah. about?" He's like bothering her, like, "You need to pitch this way." And he's like touching her unnecessarily. <laughs> Which you know depend obviously this book is outside of continuity but if you go inside continuity technically batman is outside of time and space yeah. <laughs> <laughs> i mean i don't think she's interested but i also don't think she realizes what's going on either because mm -hmm. i do think she's the type who would totally just tell someone off if she realized right yeah see like i just feel like that's such a uh you know, well i think Bruce every Wayne, time like, she calls she's like I'm who home, i contemplate and that. as he when said he doesn't wait for answers so he job, just probably like, hung up i don't feel like that's the time to man where, where's my identity well i mean i think that it's and who can resist this whole me <laughs> part of the job though because otherwise you know that And then he just waits around for nobody to show up. I, I mean, to me, it's and like, And then he hey, calls back again, and she does the same thing like, of, like, who? <laughs> like, she doesn't recognize his name. I, I don't, I don't, to, see, to me, it's like, I, the I, I guess I actually The most important character. Do, like, believe Batman as a symbol. Like, I don't know. Maybe I value that more for than now. him being a person. Because to me, it's like, I just, this Batman doesn't seem like Batman to me. Like, he's just, he says some things that I'm like, uh, Batman wouldn't say that. I don't know. I'm, that was probably being, being, being nitpicky, but mm -hmm. like, I, I was like, ah, ugh, that didn't, uh. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that, the yeah, he's got to sell like, sports equipment like, for his parents. I'm going <laughs> to, uh, like, brand people as a bat and be like I'm your emissary Batman <laughs> I work for you can't you see this is all for you <laughs> oh yeah <laughs> and he was like uh do you really think this is what I would have wanted <laughs> man that sounds like something that actually happened is that a thing that happened in comics I don't know I feel like it does though like, I'm sure I did not make that up yeah yeah. Mm, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's probably something like that, though. Like yeah. Copycat that's like going too far. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um. What were we just talking about, though? As far as like, yeah, him getting lost in his identity and stuff, and mm -hmm. the the symbolism that he holds. I guess. Um. I wanted to say about that the it is yeah idea because like that, it's um, released you know 18 pages at a time each basically month or something. he 
Man, I think I lost it, but <laughs> that happens <laughs> like every episode now. <laughs> like, it's just too much to think about. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh yeah. So um, there's like there's Doctor Destiny, which mm -hmm. I think I think that's a Sandman villain. Or yeah, I mean, so it was first a old, old Justice League, or really Justice Society villain. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> you were just bad at then, it. And uh, then they brought uh, <laughs> brought him back in. Uh, Sandman, like you just mm. said, which was kind of weird, actually. That does kind of go back to, like, when this comic was released, like... <laughs> because I thought that Sandman wasn't it's released. Like, yeah, obviously until, it sounds like the dad was just um, really bad. Like, the 90s. Or at least, like, now I'm like, how many things happened in 1989? But I thought that it was the first uh, volume was 1989. But basically, yeah, so Dr. Destiny... Uh, uses mm. some of uh, the living embodiment of dreams <laughs> powers to cause people to have nightmares and like, you know, uh, mm. yeah, basically kind of, uh, you, you know, causes crime <laughs> while they're having nightmares <laughs> is essentially the, oh, gotcha. the thing. I mean, that was like the, the I will Justice say there's like some side characters introduced in the down. first part, and then you know, in like Sandman, the kind of group reappears. that it's like Co like has sold all these sports equipment to, and they started the baseball team, insane. and they're like, we don't have enough people to play. <laughs> Co, will you come play? And he's yeah, like, and then ah, tries to I don't play baseball. <laughs> I just Dream sell it. <laughs> himself by using the the weapons. Um, but anyway, <laughs> that was a more of a. <laughs> Well, um, in in this book, allowance. it seemed more like um, he just looks at you and then you die. Like at least that's how the Joker phrased it. Yeah, yeah, and then like Batman just pushes him down a flight of stairs. <laughs> oh yeah, also he's in a wheelchair. So. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So I'm not sure if this takes place before or after Sandman. Basically, is what I'm trying to say. The reason that I kind of went into his history a little bit more mm -hmm. because like. It may it would make sense if Wakaba. it takes place after Sandman because mm -hmm. then he's like completely depowered and he's like basically, you know, he's he's crippled. Yeah. Um, is this so? This is not main con continuity, right? Oh yeah, I guess that's true too. So, but I mean, also, <laughs> and they're like, you just wear Sandman that normally. <laughs> Technically, yes, yes, it is. Okay. <laughs> um, so yeah, I guess I, I yeah, don't so know. Yeah, there's a lot of setup I don't know in this area. What to say about <laughs> Doctor Destiny and you know, where once he the major is and what Grant Morrison happens, was trying to say by spoilers, him. Spoilers: yeah. goes off to swimming camp um, for a day but and then does not come clay back. Face, is who like, doesn't look like the clay face. The that way we know. it's delivered. Yeah. Is I, so I wonder good. if he's it's like not like people to be rushing like in and being like, like "Did you hear the news?" Powers, it's just maybe? like I don't know. Well, it's a casual thing I mean, in the maybe, background. But like, just the news. He looks like Gollum. Just picture a Gollum and then wait, like add a green tint to him. Are you thinking of like that? The my precious. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. That Gollum, not like you know the uh like Jewish folklore. No, no golems i guess oh gotcha yeah um because like yeah technically both made out of clay that's why i was <laughs> oh, getting oh. <laughs> confused <laughs> um but yeah so is it clayface is like who is this person that's <laughs> dr destiny but then the purple I thought that those were just mannequins, honestly. Okay, that might just be mannequins. Oh yeah, and then so then there's Scarecrow, and basically yes. the way that Batman evades Scarecrow is just evading him. <laughs> <laughs> um, mm. He just like is all like, okay, you're just doing your thing of putting your your pitchfork on the ground. Mm -hmm. I will say, um, I know that this book, this comic is, you know, based I... you know, like. I don't know if Scarecrow's I agree with that, like, interpretation of the scene. I think mm -hmm. he but I really heard the news, the Batman Arkham and Asylum, then he just uh, didn't process it. Because like, like he, he they have looks, that scene, I mean, he, Wakaba he was like swimming to help a third-grade girl who had her foot caught in a hole. 
Ah. Like, and it goes, now oh. back to Koshin and oh, you know, awesome back to, to the sports game. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's and in the video game, right? And he looks behind him, yeah. Yeah. and it's just kind of mm. silent. And then, oh yeah, also, I, the sky, earlier in the story, I forgot summer, to mention, though, is Two-Face, and I really like that is. detail and for it, like, him, is like, the psychiatrist is all like, and then, yeah, you know, we're he's working to cure him. Now, like, at first, he, like, only made decisions I don't know, I just totally feel like, because they have that moment where he looks back, then we went to a dice, her name is mentioned. And then now we're having to use tarot cards, it. but you know, just not uh, getting to make decisions. <laughs> and it's like, but then it's he just like, a thing you, hear you know, about. It didn't basically to you. can't decide whether to go to the bathroom or not. And so he, <laughs> yeah. as Batman says, he took away his personality. Yeah. And it's like, yeah, that didn't seem like a good idea. I think also with like the <laughs> like, way Adachi oh, no, they writes were move his to, like, conversations, I really like because there's a lot of moments what? where people right? say is that things. What it's called? I Ching? Or I like know, you can clearly they... tell they're changing they... the subject, and so you can like read in between the yeah. lines. <laughs> but like especially um, the, the they, basically they they were like just the way Wakaba and her sister like, Aoba talk things that he could use to give him more choices. And where right. she Wakaba is like, I'm not gonna give up Ko. Like she states it outright, yeah. Which is very, you know. Yeah. There's some kind of it definitely underlying subtext. I feel like between <laughs> her and Aoba about yeah. that. Yeah. Also, though, that like didn't s that seemed like extra creative liberty from Grant Morrison because it's like he didn't expressly like make every decision on a coin flip because then there would be a fifty percent probability that he doesn't decide to go yeah. to the bathroom. <laughs> like, <laughs> so wait. So then, what would more... So they moved him onto tarot cards. I think like, when you're that you age and you're that insistent that like you don't like, like somebody, people will assume 70, you like 78 them, options. Kind of Especially like, being her sister. She knows her best. How many options do you have to use the bathroom? I, so, yeah, yeah, I, know. I, I do feel like there's that, a lot that also didn't of like quite makes sense to me. Like it's a cool there where idea in don't theory, say what but they then mean, like when you really totally. delve into it, it's like wait, because what of what that actually mean? Because of that, like the space right. left, it's like, you can oh, tell oh. what they're actually saying. Mm. Yeah, or go to the bathroom in the trees. Like yeah, yeah, that's probably that. what yeah. it is. But yeah, it still seemed like kind of just like really wild that mm. that. Uh, that leap could be made, even. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But I suppose, like, you know, maybe, like, the psychologist, like, really just broke him down and saw, like, well, what's keeping you from making, you know, coin flip decisions about everything? And he was like, oh, nothing. <laughs> 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 uh, yeah, I only make it for really important decisions, like whether or not I should kill Batman. Yeah. <laughs> whether we should let him escape mm -hmm. yeah and i like how batman like instantly was able to cure carve or harvey of that um that affliction basically where he's just all like here take your coin and decide whether i should stay or go and, <laughs> and, then, and then joker's like that's a perfect idea <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah i like yeah i think joker like it almost feels like you know he is like kind of like it feels like that classic like situation of like um the the family member that's all There's like some dude, you know what we uh, need we need like you know this person to come in and yeah the guy's solve just like kid don't problems. stand in the way in like oh, a no. warped way. People are gonna hit like you. Like it's all That's like, a, things like, haven't been the same hey, since mister, what X do I do person now? has been oh, here. Wow. And then <laughs> I guess. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I can see that. It was like, basically, like, he didn't set this up, but he's, he's using Batman to reestablish the status quo for the asylum. <laughs> yeah, he's thinking about her words, <laughs> yeah. and like, he even sees all right welcome back to the comic panel i'm cody Taylor. all right audacity started it's picking up my voice at a reasonable level all and right we're cool. glad to have jacob minimize back joining Good. us uh, for this part of the show um so in the last 30 minutes right we talked about um Batman Arkham Asylum, A Serious House on Serious Earth by Grant Morrison and Dave McKinnon. And we are continuing that conversation now. 
Um, so I have a question for Jake since he just uh, came He's on like the He's like so show. happy he uh, can actually see so what like, are your dynamic vision on the book and, and just why did you it pick for it for evil. this week? Yes. Yes. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. People who live next to tree trains. Ah. I get it. I always have my window closed, yeah. Literally 100%. Uh. Sure. Gotcha. Man, Jake, I was really Never. hoping you were going yeah. to explain what was happening to me. <laughs> um, so the actual baseball portion of it is, very, like we said, it's very slowly building up because there's, you know, hints about the fact that, like, you know, the middle schoolers are about to, like, graduate and go to high school. Um, <laughs> Ko is already in high school. He hasn't even joined the baseball team. I'm Jacob. in trouble in the baseball team because like some of the second years are kind of bratty to the point where fights have broken out and like um you know the you guys who no, co convinced to start a baseball team when they were younger they're older now and i think you know some of them are part of the baseball team in high school but they're just not dedicated to it because the environment isn't great like it's filthy most of the a lot of the players oh don't care about the actual team you know they're just playing cards in like the dressing rooms or whatever yeah i was gonna say like i guess yeah because it's Akashi. sports is what it says probably like on the and spine Nakara and if you were gonna Nishi? like categorize this you'd say it was sports but like First two volumes, not like a huge amount of sports going on. Do you mean? <laughs> yes, yeah. Sports will be happening. Sports are promised, but. Mm. <laughs> no, so. Yeah, in like fourth I grade, think, which. I think Akaishi. Is I don't know. Like maybe this is younger. a I think he's the age incorrect age opinion. Book. But I think for fourth also, graders, like, part of the baseball team. is too boring or complicated to get into. I Whoever wrote that, like, everything just makes sense. Okay. <laughs> okay so maybe Unless you're a prodigy. Just a new understanding. But, but. I mean, yeah, if he was kind of bad and just, like, ended up being a salary man, I don't think this Doesn't would be a manga. Doesn't also say in that part that, like, basically it was just supposed to be, like, a prick <laughs> on the hand, basically, though, but then, like, Dave McKean basically was all, like, stab through the hand. <laughs> and, like, I read, I read a quote somewhere. I didn't actually read the full script, but I read a quote that was supposed to be in that script's annotation that was basically saying that like that's not what Grant Morrison asked for and he was like kind of peeved about it yeah him cleaning that, the like, spikes it made a different symbol <laughs> by piercing the hand over pricking the hand okay okay if it was pricking the hand would you understand it more no probably not <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, I just I just found that that was interesting that like you know there was like kind of creative differences in this between Morrison and McKean. My my question is how did that even happen? Like <laughs> like how was it published with knowing that this wasn't what I wanted? Flashback. Well yeah because it's like that, that another thing was like. Uh, uh, at first, Grant Morrison was going to have uh, Robin in the book, but basically uh, he said something about, like, McKean wouldn't bend over backwards for the boy wonder or something no, like that. No, that was that. Nakanishi. Like, you know, 
he was already stretching his like creative yes. talents by and using Akai like this mixed he's media not method. Gonna arrive late next and like time. so he was going to. I like, read again, I think like, like a volume and a half again. of yeah. some fo- American football for some manga. Reason. So. <laughs> Okay, so uh, no, what? You're saying that the king is like, look, I'm already doing a lot of No, it wasn't this. JoJo. Yeah. He I'm said, not going to no, so he said this, that he you know, was nervous to join yeah, the team. Basically. Yeah, basically. It was, yes, it was something yeah. from yeah. Shonen Jump. Did, I remember he was very fast. Moment, so like you know, worst timing, that, you know, the writer <laughs> things are really isn't always up. king, you know, to a, a comic It was comic very comic. cartoony, because I think it was but, middle school. Um, so I wasn't really interested in stuff that was like, like okay, people I'm, just I'm being normal. Really like, I don't care about that. that which is probably that. why I dropped it. <laughs> <You know? laughs> Maybe? So I, even if you even if you were like, right, no, I don't like, remember what the name I'm was. also the editor. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 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 feels like yeah they're trying to cover up a lot of lost time and like change the relationships between like the four years and like backstory kind of stuff so yeah i do feel like there's moments where i'm like who what because things have changed yeah mm-hmm. I mean, we have, like, cooking reality shows, though. Like, we've got Chopped and MasterChef and, you know, Your Kitchen Nightmares is, like, a step away from, like, a comedy most of the time. Mm. Oh, yeah, the editor. Yeah. That was at the very end yeah, of Yeah, that actually... <laughs> Is what do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, that that's actually a really good segue into um, kind of a new potential segment I've developed that I'm calling uh, the Comic Scholar. I looked up a scholarly article. Oh, hold on, before you go further. Before I go further, let's let that sink in. I should say What's this new segment called <laughs> <laughs> the Comic Scholar. <laughs> Okay, now you can yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, Yes. <laughs> Person is pitching a ball. Do we need a panty <laughs> shot in this frame? Yeah, um, Akai being like, it was you called know, Out There in the Asylum, dream, or, Physical, you know, Mental, uh, and Structural you're the Space, and, I'm the catcher, and Grant Morrison and Dave McQueen's I know I'm Arkham not the Asylum Series Charles on Serious Earth, Earth by James F. So Wartz, American Studies, 2011, Volume 56, Number 4. So that's what we're going to work towards. And so basically, it's a good uh, reveal of like it the does talk about um, uh, part part like of it being talks just like, about oh, you know, uh, the psychological was space at one time and how is very like, weak, but the fact that you know she like, told him about you know, some to, fun little dream she had like, for him, the, and he's like, well, uh, it's now my life. Joker's sexual deviance and Batman's essentially internalized homophobia because of like. And also the absence I mean, of Robin like 11 or something. because of the way that, um, I can't remember the guy's name, but there was a guy that, that was a psychologist that basically said that, um, and he was, he was a homophobic psychologist who said that like take- Batman and Robin were living the uh, like homoerotic ideal relationship. That's really mean. Um, <laughs> <laughs> you could just not draw this. I've seen you play sports before. Uh, I know how you are. Well, oh, it was gonna sports. stay. Yeah, so. he, yeah he, he did. He wrote uh, Seduction of the Innocent, which mm. was like about how. Yeah. I'm yeah. Well, I'm sure true. there that are people, and this was before the advent of the Tide Pen. Books were so. The youth and <laughs> causing them to be in jail. You had to do it because like. Basically, ex the, 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 the main, uh, the core of this study was that, like, basically a, a, a large percentile of juvenile delinquents read comics. And it was like, really, if you just looked at the bigger set of data, 
most kids read mm -hmm. comics. <laughs> so it's just like, doesn't matter if you're a juvenile delinquent or not, you're all reading comics. <laughs> like, it's right. just kind of a bad data set, really. But anyway, so yeah, he made this assertion about Batman and Robin. Yeah, so and, she's, um, she's the youngest yeah, it's just daughter. Kind of, um, yeah, so Wakaba's youngest You know, youngest so that's sister. like, and basically that's kind of And she does not change a lot from like between the four Batman's years history from like kindergarten of, like, you know, to like fourth grade Some people see she's in now. Batman as more like, uh, as being able to be read as homoerotic. Um, not necessarily like with Robin, because obviously Robin is a child, but like, just but yeah, because like even though yeah, she kind of hates him now, um, which like I assume now is like uh, middle school but, into high school, um, yeah, which is the time period I guess. <laughs> um, yeah, she just like but, uh, you know still, used to it, is still like, like familiar with him, even though like she doesn't like him now, Joker which I guess kind of makes sense. But also like if you hated him that much, then it's kind of weird that you're just taking food from his mom and dad. Because and Aoba's like, oh, I'm sorry, I'm pitching so hard. She's like, it's him. okay. Like, I've been doing this I mean, yeah, I guess, and, uh, but like... A day with you know, Coat, and you should see how he pitches. And Aoba, of course, is like, what do you him? mean? I am you know, best. So now that's part of the character, almost. <laughs> Coat can't be good at anything. That's... <laughs> Right, no, I think that that's more, uh, like, the way that I described it, I guess, was more of an internalized homophobia, in that it's like, you know, he he is, like, so, um, it's not that he is specifically homophobic, it's that he is, like, completely, like, outside the purview of sexuality in general, I guess, and then so, like, you know, Joker making these advances makes him like deeply uncomfortable. No, no, no. Okay, why why do we have to go that far? <laughs> like, why why can't it be like like if we were going to go with that like there is homoeroticism in this book, why can't we just stop at he's Batman's just not into the Joker. Like he just doesn't do it for him. Like, well, like why do we have to go? So Batman is therefore. Hating all. No, 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 no. Okay, yeah, I, I, I see where, where you're going with this, but it's, it's a misunderstanding, I think, and mm -hmm. it's, it's not. Yeah, I guess, and maybe my word wording, my word choice is poor. Then, is that mm -hmm. like, the, and 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 really, what I'm doing too is I, I should clarify that I am trying to convey the some of the ideas that I learned from this paper that I read. Mm -hmm. But essentially, it is trying to say that um, Batman is so uncomfortable with the idea. You know, it's not just that he is like, you know, like, yeah, you know, like LGBT rights, but also like the Joker is weird, you know, and I'm not, I'm not, and, and I'm straight, you know. It's like the whole idea of sexual deviancy, which, you know, is, is, are, gayness was part of sexual deviancy in the 1980s mm -hmm. is like uncomfortable to him mm. and so it's that uncomfortability it's not like he's hateful it's the uncomfortableness with it though he's not willing to accept it as part of like you know normalcy I yeah guess. yeah i'm gonna say you're reading into that <laughs> Right, yeah. Mm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yeah. And that was another thing that I learned from this uh, period. Is, Even though, like, from, she doesn't seem like the paper, person who needed it, or because, like, Denny she Yen, got him two of the uh, same clocks two years in a row. Books, by and large, and so he actually had an edict that, like, 
He's like, yeah, obviously I don't need to know what to get you. You need to know what to get me. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Gotcha. So that that also fits in with that uh, edict for Denny O'Neill too. I I wonder so if like from my understanding, it seems like people are like reading, you know, that man's introduction or you know, the beginning of his, you know, him being a character and they're like, okay, like here is all these you know, the only people that we see him with is Robin and Alfred, mm -hmm. right? And maybe Commissioner Gordon and Joker. Um, but like, are they forgetting Catwoman? Like, <laughs> like, and also too, like, when did they start making Batman like not asexual? If that, if we're going with that right, idea. yeah. I mean, I don't, I don't know when. Like, probably whenever Denny O'Neill stopped. Uh, being around the character as much, you know, stop editing the book Batman books, but um, and and his like his celibacy edict was specifically in reaction to have people stop saying that he was like you know uh, he was like a homoerotic icon, you know. Oh, okay, gotcha. It, it was in in I. <clears throat> Yes. <laughs> okay. I I thought it. At I least that's that's my understanding. Gotcha. Like potentially, I could be wrong, but that mm -hmm. is my understanding of the situation. Gotcha. At least. I was under the assumption that they made him. They're on brand. In response to, or like you know, heterosexual <laughs> in response to him being homosexual. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they like to hit that legume of the perennial or perennial of the legume family, a four-leafed <laughs> uh, rivalry. <laughs> like version is supposed to bring good luck and it's like and it talks about how the dutch used it as packing grass and it's like all right come on how many times are you gonna say this i don't think he hates her like she's just a girl who hates him yeah so he, he's yep. always aware uh -huh. of who he is i think like. <laughs> do you think they changed the sign mm-hmm <laughs> okay. Okay. Let, okay. I, I want to ask this question. Imagine if there was. Imagine I think three leaves like are just like normal. All female version of Batman, right? Where Wait, all, it was, all female or yes. gender swapped? Okay. I mean, essentially gender swapped. Okay. We've been dancing so around where, it, and we were gonna have to talk um, about it at some point. You know, it was like that woman, you know, mm -hmm. and then she took that in moment. a female ward, mm -hmm. and then that she moment had a when Senda butler. is scared of the yeah. cat. Would the question of her being homosexual be raised? Um, I mean... He goes, is that a cat? I mean, He's I like, think you that... have you never seen one before? <laughs> I'm here to court her. Yeah, very suave kind of thing. Just, oh my god, that cat! Huh. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah, and I think, too, like... It's one of those things, too, where it's so. like we have to remember that um, the, the origin of this assertion was kind of a negative one, but mm -hmm. there has been reclamation of it, okay. you know? Some people gotcha. want to read it as that way, and it's, mm -hmm. it's their right to. Apparently know, the best fighter in their school. Can. Which is like, um, why does a fourth grader get or fourth or fifth grader get to like carry around that statistic? Bad. No more the cat. But that's not how it is anymore, obviously. I mean, he's obviously bigger than like I'm sure all the other fifth graders we meet. Do a call back to that moment. Like Senda is going to have some time, some scenes with cats. I just know it. <laughs> <laughs> Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> it is it's it's like it must have been Senda, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's gotcha. that's a hard R raving. 
<laughs> I think Kinda, she's just yeah. mimicking people. Oh yeah. Like it's weird because they keep saying that Wakaba is like the cutest girl in their grade, but more probably like I the school. Like totally but that. like they just hit it so many yeah, times, it's like this it feels weird. This feels a little weird. Oh, okay. Now I remember. Okay. Gotcha. <laughs> I see. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, though, I did want to talk a little bit more about this article I read because mm -hmm. um, it was not a, a gender studies article, but it, it, uh, <laughs> looking at the the use of space in the comic. It's like, yeah, she's pretty. It's pretty just a fact. It's not something that, that like, like you know, he they, feels they any like particular way a, about. A paragraph or half a paragraph talking about that. In the wow. Okay. <laughs> we completely blew that out of the proportion. Yeah. Um, but basically, um, so I mean, like, we don't see any other like fifth grade girls though. So we don't know. Was about how like the physical space and like the linking between. Um, Amadeus and Batman's like physical journey it's through like time and space. It's still a little hard, though. I think because, Adachi like, just like basically. I mean, if you read like even his short programs Batman with all the short stories, room, some of the characters who are supposed to be totally like, different stories to, like look similar. Uh, so I think that's just. Part I think it ties Amadeus's back again journal. to his whole thing of like I need and to get so eighteen though, pages like, out this week. In time I know how to draw this face. You know, the, Let's go for it. Happening moment to moment for Batman and for Amadeus, it's like you know, days or weeks or months between, it's still, like, as he moves to a room, something in Amadeus's life happened in that room. And so that's kind of, like, the connection. Yeah, I mean, that is her, space. at least in the first part, well, I would say so that's her defining characteristic, because, like, she's good enough to play like on a comes into, like, fourth grade boys team the, as well. Uh, which, like, it does kind of raise a question, like, does Japan not have, like, a yeah. softball equivalent? Symbols Whereas, like, America, like, like loves baseball, um, but we don't want to put put women in baseball, so we just, like, like made softball instead. Space Does Japan now, not have that equivalent? Basically, it kind of focuses on Mad Hatter's line of, like, basically how the, um, the building represents a head that is, like, specifically dreaming up. Yeah, I think, well, it, like, yeah, one of the ends of the volume is like, hey, check out volume one on sale in April 2006. And it's like, ah, okay. <laughs> um, and so Batman is the creation of all of his what do you mean cross paths? And that plays into the idea that all, lots of other writers have explored that, like, basically all of Batman's rogues are just reflections of parts of his own personality <laughs> and then um does that like give them like no agency i feel like that takes away their agency to say that the the rogues is that they're reflections of his personality well I yeah i mean they still get to, they I are do still think people in some ways the families are trying to get them to interact uh decisions mm -hmm. it's just that it's Something can still be said about Batman by reading about them, essentially. Okay. Yeah. No, Not that's the one really on the horse. Batman, that's Polo. That they're like, I mean, Mad Hatter is kind of almost saying that they are creations of Batman, but um, <laughs> I think that that's yeah. more of a. I mean, Co yeah, even Coe's you know, mom is like when Aoba shows like, up, she's like, reader, "We haven't seen you in forever." So than, you know, willing to make her a little actual true dish, reality. Like. <laughs> Um. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Yeah. 
I think Bane doesn't get introduced until like the 90s anyway. <laughs> I think yeah. it might be, but I don't think it's going to become like a serious plot point. So like when he broke his back, that was like oh, him yeah. in the beginning? Huh? That was him in the beginning? Yeah, that was like peak 90s and then oh. um, you get that. I've never heard it before. Uh, robot Batman looking <laughs> guy. Asriel, yeah. <laughs> 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 that sounds awesome. They're friendly. They're also oh, I, okay. Yeah, that explains it. Like, I did like that bit though that you're talking yeah, about because, like, <laughs> it's all right. I was about to say. Misunderstanding. He he likes um, you. He's gonna let you hit the ball. But anyway, and then, yeah, like, uh, like as he's about to throw it, kind of in comes Wakaba. Like, hey, why don't you come pick me up? You've watched a lot of anime like that, haven't you? Um, Batman's potential to turn into like a monster. Um, Wait, who was Killer Croc? Yeah, I don't think and she knew like, that that like that was gonna happen. Presented the <laughs> difference between like logic and reason versus like you know just pure like emotional brutality, I guess. You know, yeah. So I could agree with that, but I mean, but the list that he gets I, doesn't go that it, far. It, it, it stops like, at eighteen, feel like it was which I think was like earrings or something. Right, yeah, and it's like it, it takes all of this extra context. Not at eighteen earlier because it's like I, he uses that speed. Yeah, so it was the next two that were gonna be I, in that yeah. close, I guess. Like specifically, like the saint <laughs> of like logic or something. It, it's a nice casual slice of life sports reason. one. Um, but like, I, I think beside. we know what I think of this series based on the fact that I read it in middle school. It was like, huh, damn, that's crazy. This is going to affect me forever. Not going to read the rest. <laughs> Just... yes. Mm-hmm. This is, yeah, this is not there. If you know a fifth grader who's planning yeah, that far in advance on anything, uh, you should probably let somebody else know. Was a saint is like where the faith comes in or like. Okay. Right. Okay. I knew it was coming up, and so everything was like bittersweet. <laughs> no, no, I was I'm, I'm like, following. Oh, I was just making sure this I was going to happen. These boys are gross. <laughs> Come on. Yeah. <laughs> right. Yeah. And then, like, so the last kind of thing that um, the paper touched on, and this is, of course, like, I think that, uh, you know, throwing this segment, you know, out there and trying it. The thing that I like the least about it so far <laughs> is that um I think at least reading the first to, volume or you know, so is worth it. Like really give it because you know, I, I it's like a big paper and I'm like, uh, basically this alone. stuff happened in it. <laughs> Maybe but, I'm just um, a Massachusetts basically, or something. What is it? The other like, layer to yeah, it was read this that series the to see how of depressing it is in the Mad Hatter's line that it's, he says it's your um, head, and basically it's like I think I think y, they're too similar to each other. You are, is like is part of the so reason why like they don't get along. It's really saying it's our head. It's just the they both like baseball. Head. Both you know really like their sister. Oh, oh yeah, and I, then I, I, I thought he was saying that it's our head, like you, Batman, and us. Villains. He likes batting at least at that first. A pretty Johnny like, Cash on his best. Yeah, that's a valid interpretation. <laughs> it's like one of the last songs he does. No, no see, see, what happens is when you're reading it, you're like, hey, that's a strange way to count. I heard it before, Logan. I wonder what that means. <laughs> <laughs> well, now you just need to add context to it <laughs> that might not be there. <laughs> yeah, so we kind of mentioned that earlier in the program, but yeah, it is 
hard Cross to read. Cross game was interesting. <laughs> read all 17 <laughs> volumes, but... <laughs> yeah, you know, I mentioned, I was like, I really wonder how I getting remember... this book in 1985 was. Read it again. <laughs> Soccer. It's a whistle. <laughs> yeah, a little yeah. bit how like most fans of Watchmen are. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that took me a moment to get it. It's like, is that a music yeah. note? <laughs> I I mean that was kind of the part that she sold me on Senda though apart. where it's like does she know that you're going on a date and it's like I can't be waiting around for answers mm -hmm. otherwise I get nothing done all day mm -hmm. <laughs> or wait or a gang member Okay, yeah. I'm ready. <laughs> yeah, you know, I guess the trouble I I'm had okay with that. The trouble I had with that um part of it was like I don't see how that's like super sanity. You know, I'm having trouble yeah. making that leap. Super san to me, I was like I was like, yeah. super sanity. I, <laughs> I lost my mind. I was like, yeah. It's like, this is why you don't try psychotherapists. And I'm Shawinta. <laughs> uh, I'm not sure you okay, those are, that's the ar artist t telling the audience. Um, Mitsuru Adachi? Yeah. <laughs> like, like, no. I, I was like, oh, so you can't admit that you failed. So you're just saying, well, he's beyond our, you know, fixing. <laughs> like, we can't. <laughs> yeah. Like, I mean. I, I, yeah, I think that was the part that got repeated the most was like, at, like, I've, up until now, so I've never played baseball, not even like catch. That. But it's ever since I was three, insane. I've been trying to hit balls at the hundred <laughs> kilometer an hour, but however fast that is, I was like say that sixty miles an hour. Normal persons, uh, batting cages, it's and it's like, like, all right, how many times? Like, I understand you, you have know, to like reintroduce what's happening here, I mean, you know, but like, come on. This is me taking that at like full face value. A super sane person, which really sounds like I'm saying super sane. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, a super sane person would be able to do their life at like maximum quality, basically. If mental illness impedes the functioning of your life, then Unless you're the a prodigy. opposite would be a super ability <laughs> to go about your life. Hmm. I mean, we wouldn't read it if he wasn't secretly amazing, right? <laughs> oh, yeah, can't be doing that in a sports equipment store. <laughs> hmm. 
because it was in my middle school library once, and I went, oh, that looks like a fun yeah, read. Oh, so yeah. Why, I, why do I keep reading this? It's just like I've slice kind of, of life, which is pretty casual. And then I got to the end like, of volume I, I don't know. Like, oh, Manga still yeah. has some like bad dads. I don't think there's a single good <laughs> dad in any JoJo since. part. Um, I think I read the idea up to like volume four. And, like, <laughs> I don't know. I read a lot of uh, No. They've never been super my thing. Decision making processes. They're easy to follow. It's usually, like maybe like the Joker good guy the and the cool rival. The like Slam Dunk is really fun. There's way. always got to be that he extra thing than just the sports because I don't know how is. they win points. They're just that good or they're plan. bad. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, but he's he's not worried about anything mm -hmm. ever. Yeah, yeah, I can see that. <laughs> I did like that little, like, baby salesman angle, where it's just like, oh. yeah, I'm going to try to sell kids on, like, New Jersey's and lacrosse and, you know, a bunch of new stuff just so, like, I can get a bigger allowance. Well, have any of you other guys read, like, sports manga or seen sports anime? Uh -huh. Okay. Is it? I can maybe <laughs> get on board with that. Um, what did everybody think of? Because this is another thing that is kind it of that, got brought is up. Is it in one the of the ones that was too, like in Shonen I, I just Jump? Wonder, like general opinions. The ending line of Joker. <laughs> I he essentially. I know says, which one you're talking uh, about, and I've never read that one because the like characters the asylum, look crazy to Batman, me. You know, flipping the. Uh, the ideas of the space, you know, basically that the, the oh, world is, it is the asylum, 21? inside the asylum Maybe. is home. <laughs> mm -hmm. And we will ruminate on that <laughs> while we take our break. Okay, Before the break, we were talking about Batman Arkham Asylum, a serious house on a serious earth. Um, by Grant Morrison and art by Dave McKean. So, I, and I asked what everybody's thoughts were on Joker's last line in that book. Um, he tells Batman, enjoy yourself out there in the asylum. So he kind of inverts the idea of in and out and the idea of like the sane world and the insane world. Okay, I'm ready. Mm. <laughs> yes, I noticed. And I'm Shawenta. I don't know. That was just so weird because, like, every, anytime it happened, Bad somebody else on the panel was like, Is this an ad? Are you being paid to do this? Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. Um, Mitsuru Adachi? <laughs> Wait, say that again. Mm. Um, gotcha. I mean, it does ground it in a right. way because, like, just like we talk about comics, I'm I, sure I Japanese youths as... talk about whatever manga they're reading I mean, very and like trade to... issues. Like, so it does ground it kind of. But then it's like it's all by this one author. It's like the only the uh, like yeah. manga author around. I I was just like. Okay, idiot. And even, like, I think the last chapter starts with, man, it's really hard to put out 18 pages, like, every week, especially in a holiday week. Tail <laughs> on to the Joker. Gosh, what an a-hole. <laughs> um, no, I think I, it resonated with me because it felt like, you know, 
I don't know. For some reason, like it's oh yeah, exposure to the sun and like you shouldn't smoke, and it's just him sitting in a dark place smoking. Um, weird, like kind of homoeroticism in the beginning, like we talked about earlier between like Joker and Batman, or or, you know, specifically (laughs) Joker making those passes, not necessarily Batman reciprocating. Um, but at the same time, I can't stop this image where it feels like. You know, we wouldn't read it if he wasn't Joker views secretly Batman amazing, as, right? Like, family in some way, mm. and like he's like basically like this was like a little trial period in Joker's we mind should of read like, ping pong. Hmm, can we have Batman back at home? You know, and he's mm. all like, you know, it's like this total reversal of roles where it's like, okay, you're just gonna go back to the asylum. It didn't work out this time, but um, <laughs> I, I'm okay with that one because it was in my middle school library once, and I went, oh, that looks like a fun read. I was like, why Why do I keep reading this? Just, like, I don't know. The, life, the really dad's cool. response where it's and like, no, it's very artistic, and then like, wait went, a second. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> and I haven't read it since. Um, I think I've read up to like volume four, but mm. I don't know. I read a lot of sports manga when I was like younger, and it, they've never been super my thing. But they've always been like they're easy to follow. Usually, like there's the good guy and the cool rival. Like Slam Dunk is really fun. There's always got to be that extra I thing. Get. Just the sports because yeah. I don't know how they win points. They're just good or they're bad. both Mm -hmm. yeah i think that's probably where you know the that family kind of thing comes in have any of you other guys and i I would definitely say that like sports i can see on some level the joker actually thinking that Mm -hmm. we're we're family kind of thing right and so like him being like you know go out there the asylum like no this is your home like Mm -hmm. i can see that (laughs) Yeah, and I think, too, we I kind of, like, I briefly mentioned it in the beginning when we were kind of talking about the art Is it that, um, is it one of the ones that was, like, in um, Shonen Jump? Book. But, like, also, I think that plays into the I, difference. I know which one you're talking about. Yeah, like, the comedy is kind of relegated to side characters. Like, like, Senda like, is like, obviously, like, a comedic addition. It's like, you know, and just, just the, the some of the like, old baseball, like, like, I forget, it wasn't the bully, but it was the guy who got him onto oh, the baseball team in the first 21? place you know, is just like they end up in his room and like they just start looking around to see if he has any like adult literature like in his room he's like lifting up the mattress he's like what are you doing he's like i'm just checking you know yeah the usual spots I'm like that's just is weird but okay and i would also want to point out that um more to your point about the family thing like um technically like the Joker saying, have, you know, have I fun think at so. the asylum isn't the last thing he says. The last thing he says is, just don't forget, if it ever gets too tough, there's always a place for you here. Yeah, right. Mm-hmm. And so yeah, I think that goes along a lot more with the family aspect. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Frickin and I think cooking that, that I, I just, <laughs> yeah, I Never. like that inversion because it feels like you know, it doesn't feel like your initial assessment of it. It feels like Batman still kind of believes him a little <laughs> bit. You know, because he, he has accepted that he does feel a little bit at home <laughs> in the asylum. And he does, he has accepted that he is a little bit mad. Mm-hmm. You know? But yeah. he he's also still a man, not a monster, you know? And he's I know like what you're talking about, and that's not come what you're talking about. <laughs> that's like everybody's oh, yeah, that's pretending right. to be Italian what, at the same the time, and it's also a romance come movie. Out of this with, I feel like, is like, yeah, Grant Morrison is like one of those people that, like, it's like you don't have to worry about. There's a lot of movies he where they make beats in his intent. I feel like <laughs> of a book. <laughs> have you read a food manga? You know, have you read one? Okay. Okay, so you don't know what the hairstyle is. <laughs> yeah. 
Um, yep, you know, I saw like, that. Like, I saw that. Yeah, it was again I'm weird, kind of but d- like you know, he he might be a little bit crazy too. Mm-hmm. Um, that just reminded me of. The Wasn't that the one book. that was like? Uh, is that the one that yeah, opens with her like, sure. just like in a bra oh, wow. at her house, and her like sister's mm-hmm. yelling at it's her to like really put some clothes on? That's a different one. All right. My entire so family's Matt opinion. Had a, you know, saying like some of like, but yeah, we're all crazy here, and mm-hmm. you know, you're crazy too. Mm-hmm. That's the thing. I guess like I it's the weirdest one because like it's also the weirdest scenario where they're on the train going to school. They see in the window. You uh, or you at least as far as we know, right. a- Aoba yeah. is the only so one to see, like, there's a robbery going on in somebody's house. And yeah. so they get to the train I, station, I come like out, run back. And she's like, okay, I know there was a, I was, I'm 100% happening. sure there was a robbery but going on. Book, but how do I approach this? And then also Ko has seen you the know, same thing. That's what and is also is there. And like knocks on the door pretending to be police. Fan service. But like. Are, are, you, are you talking the, about that fan service? The act of making a choice it, to continue on is not necessarily. Are, are you talking about? Like yeah, it. I was about and to ask. Are you talking about food wars? And then, like, like and, the and that's where like the panty shot is. It's like she's obviously doing like a a throw, <laughs> and like, like so you know like, if you've ever seen a pitcher throw, they do like they put their whole body into it, and so like obviously, th- I guess you could see a panty shot. But, like, sure, it's a weird place to put it, but okay. And then also send us yeah, there being I mean, threatened by the mugger game, as the ball hits the, the mugger in the back of the head. And I mean, then somehow the old woman who yeah. was, like, tied up they were, is they were able to bizarre. get out of the um, apartment, I mean, I past Ko, kind of, and uh, past uh, Aoba, Adachi, and, like, and somehow manages to think that Senda did it. They tend to have small snippets of fan service like that. I'd say, as far as, like, industry-wise, they're very tasteful compared to some. So, I tend like, to, like... she's still tied up, and she must have had like, to hop down the stairs tied up! It's like, it could be a moment a teenage boy would notice, but, like, <laughs> it's still a little bit weird. Especially That's the, the worst one! Like not At least in these two volumes. Have, That's like, the worst. Well, she's gotta take off her clothes to wash them. And I'm like, why are we here? Why are we seeing this? <laughs> That's. Some people are like that. Mm-hmm. I legitimately yeah, know I people who that are that like is, that. At least what like the theater intent people. Is. Like especially. I'm not sure if it necessarily works was like, <laughs> for me, but I think that that is supposed to be the point. So um, you had to take it up. It of, might like, stay. A turning point for Batman. And then yeah, make sure you give some to Aopa when you see her. And because he's I, he's Co is completely willing to say, all right, I think if I you want to pretend to have done this, sure, no skin off my back. Each of his villains, you know. <laughs> God. <laughs> Yeah, I, I she's very right, blunt, yeah. she's straightforward, she's a tomboy. Um subscribe I do to think it's supposed to show that despite that the fact that we haven't even said who it is, like, but like despite the fact that this you know, female Batman character uh says this, she like, hates the main character, Ko creature of she the night that, it feels very uh, comfortable around him, I guess. Um, that uh criminals should be terrified of. You know, as long as we're on the subject of adding context that may or may not be there, <laughs> you can add a context that that man has imposter syndrome. That's what it is. <laughs> really. <laughs> I think that's just a throwaway. We're like, he's like trying to keep up the facade where it's like if he saw it out the window so he has to look out the window now but he also has like has binoculars so i think he's like also trying to train it into himself but like (laughs) yeah the bit is like he like says he saw somebody undressing and like the the rest of the train car is all girls and they just like all look at him kind of like he's a dirtbag because that's the kind of is he's kind of funny dirtbag yeah just like being stupid (laughs) 
yeah, uses it to peep on people, which is not good. That is a crime. But also, like, at the same time, don't have your windows open if there's, like, a train passing by. Not trying to victim blame, but also, like, close your windows. I don't even live next to a road and my windows are always closed. You know, the first section when they're, like, fourth graders, and then we can talk about, like, the time skip. So. Uh, they got shades. Yeah, also, could you, could... Uh, I, I was just asking if you could actually repeat yourself a little bit about. I mean, like the window is open, I mean, but the shades are drawn. People so can't see in. I mean, but yeah, I still have airflow going. Average. Enough about the setup in my um, house currently. I, I would say the setting. You know, Co. His parents own. Yeah, his parents own a sports equipment place, and then oh. next door is um, a family of like four yep, girls and their dad, and they own you know a batting range batting cage yeah yeah the sukashimis um uh, they have a cafe along with it too so two th- little connected things i totally and I mean, forgot about their that. families I are pretty close i just like considering like it from the girls all get along with them <laughs> for the most part like the little sister the eldest sister yeah. and most of all of course the second sister uh wakaba yeah and I would say also her personality is very like mm. vanilla. <laughs> yeah, just hanging I out in nice the clubhouse, person. basically. Yeah, I'm nice and I'm cute, just... kind of thing. No, go ahead. Mm, mm-hmm. <laughs> I'll say once again, I do know Dr. people who Destiny. are like that. I don't know if I encourage them to be that young and be like, and I shall get married to that person. But, you know, it's also like kids. Yeah, that's something. <laughs> mm. Okay. Yeah. Okay, you just like clarified a lot for me for Dr. Destiny. Because, yes. like,. <laughs> the idea yes. that like you know batman just pushed him down the stairs was like one pretty funny <laughs> but two it's like who who can't yeah <laughs> it's like oh yes God. like well, batman has a trained a lot and he's like very agile and stuff yeah. but essentially you could just push batman down the stairs or yeah that was a kaishi right and then he got out out in three months because he got in a fight Yes. Well, no, I mean, I'm... And we, and we see that in volume two, I think, because, like, it's talking about how much of a dirtbags are, like, the current, like, coming into third year class I was gonna say, like, I would is, like, that, as, yeah. of baseball. And it's, like, yeah, it's, I guess that'll get you thrown off the team, I guess, is fighting with your teammates. Yeah. I mean, all... technically, it wasn't his choice. It was the coin. Well, <laughs> but he always gets to make the choice to listen to the coin, Oh, yeah, but that's just because, like, he's just, like, you know, uh, kind of a bootlicker is the wrong word, brown noser. There we go. So they can keep each other company. I did not know that. Yeah. He's he's very willing to be, like, you know, condescended to by his upperclassmen. Yes, you're right. Okay, I didn't catch that. Okay. But I guess, like, if that's how you want to get through life, that's a way to get through it, I guess. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah, translator note. That's a really good... Yeah, hey, he didn't get that number one fighter for no reason, all right? Yeah. Ayoba? Mm-hmm. She's na- Her name is Fresh Leaves. Yeah. So they're all very... Yeah. <laughs> 
And considering their cafe is called like Clover Cafe or Coffee. Yeah, Coffee Clover. 78. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> and then it I team. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh. Oh. I just realized it. Well, he does like repetition in his stories, and I do feel like it's kind of important. And I just realized the four leaf clover, the four sisters. That's Ooh. so sad. Mm. No. <laughs> Cause isn't isn't four leaves lucky and like three leaves aren't, so Mm -hmm. I mean, s spoilers, there's like, yeah, there's so many volumes in this series, so this is like the first thing that like majorly happens, I guess inciting incident kind of thing, Yeah, is that, well, first of all, let's build up to it a little bit, because, um, you know, obviously Wakaba, you know, she's interested in Ko, the main character, because, you know, they grew up together. Right, they yeah, that's birthdays, something that I kind of wanted to so touch on because they're we, very you know, close. Jake, you, and, you mentioned you know, like how kind lots of, being, of media like says guess, that like you know Batman's the true boy. persona, and then like Bruce Wayne is just a mask. But I don't think that this book in particular is really saying that. Yeah, yeah, he's I like, mean, like we, yeah, you know, you need to hold on when we're on the bicycle, and she holds on. He's like, not that tight. Someone we know but might I don't see think us, that that's and of course, what is it? Because it's not I, really. I guess about I would call them school bully. Bruce like, um, is. it's about what is it? What Batman is yeah, not. Yeah, Kaishi. Uh, which is I, I mean yeah he's, he, he's or, rough well, not, delinquent not what he is not but it is like literally it's I in his name he is bat and man but mm -hmm. the most important element is his uh, <laughs> his hu humanity it's like I, you know, I have a, a quota that, like that I have to meet and they can't <laughs> all be plot based alright um, no, that's a two on the nose <laughs> <laughs> but no I think like the the clunkiness it's, is it's I didn't like mind that as much because I think it did ranked. it factored into because kind Ko of like the unranked. stuff unsaid that Shawenta was talking about where it's like <laughs> He's not all these characters are desperately trying to not talk about how much their life has been affected by Wakaba and Wakaba dying. To be fair, because like they talk like, "Hey, Ko, why are you training every day all the time?" It's like, "Oh, Later I don't know. It probably happened about four about years ago, right after." And like, "Oh, I mean, yes, oh." Yes. And then like, the right. only time like they good even good begin to talk about it is close to the end, where it's like, "Hey, why are we doing all this extra training?" And it's like. Um, so, yeah, you know, so we can fulfill Wakaba's dream. Kind of we go to whatever this big sports dome well, is. I, mean, I forget the name. And it's like, and oh yeah, you never heard about that because it was be that together. day. <laughs> and it was like, oh, <laughs> man, your lives are really separated with like BC and AD, basically. Mm -hmm. The way you make that sound, Jake, it sounds so stupid. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, it, I mean, the narrator is Ko, like, so he's like, because like, I'm yeah, it's just like I'm close to and best is, friends with, and who likes me, she is prettiest. I think he's at the age where he just doesn't know how to deal with those feelings. Like, what do you do? She's prettiest kind of thing. And also he can digest raw meat in large supply. <laughs> uh, so so uh, in, in yep. the, the order of things that give people powers, there is the power we of radiation, also take the, fighting. The, the power yeah, of well, magic, we take, like, and then the child and bullying. Yes. At face value. And I think it's mostly code. I mean, they're still better baseball players than, than we are, so... Don't be like Killer Croc. But yeah, so I mean, the whole relationship. Or, or you're gonna create. There's him. also, of course, Aoba. Which, I mean, you know, you know based like on the disc golf we played, I feel pretty strongly and, in that um, assumption. 
I don't know. She's she's also very <laughs> oh my God. Some ways, no, you know, she's It reads. Decent. That's not that mean. Uh, not calling us like. Or else but they, you know, obviously, since she's a, a girl, people just yeah, don't. Yeah, a criminal who will eat. I'm <laughs> sorry that I'm assuming that none of us are potential collegiate yeah, it's, level, it's, it's, bordering on pro level athletes. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> That's a better way of saying that. Yes. Yeah. Um. Okay, we got it. We got to backtrack from how silly Killer Croc is. <laughs> we need eight more people. Anyway, though, um, I'm pretty sure it's an 11 person yeah, squad at minimum. I, I really like the conversation about like the duality of Batman, but also like the infinite of Batman, too. I'm pretty um, sure in, like, they have the it. I don't know at this time period ideas of, when like, this how is set because it does feel like it's a little in, bit like a 90s more of, even though this um, came out like. 2010 over and here, I think. I think, yeah, yeah. I think I like, that's, right. that's where I got because I talked about Man Bat. The idea that um, Batman is more importantly a man <laughs> than the bat. Because, yeah, that is that is the thing that um, uh, yeah. Cavendish, the, the psychologist, or no, he's an administrator, mm -hmm. um, he basically is all like, you are the bat, you know, and it's all like, Nope, you, you missed the last part of his name, <laughs> you know? <laughs> I, I, but, I don't know. I think it's the um, whole thing of, like, if and you so, want to be taken seriously, if you yeah, actually want to get just, good. I feel like, like you know, it's not important for him to be kind of thing, Bruce Wayne, the boys team you know? Gets taken, but I think gets it's important the equipment, gets that all the he has that thing. level of humanity, because <clears throat> otherwise, then he is just the bat. He is just the this, like, you know, the symbol that he has created. <laughs> okay, but he, see... But you know about it. <laughs> They're both. They're both. Right, yeah. That's mm. I guess I, I see where you're coming from. <laughs> I would say that it's like Yeah, cuz I mean at, at the at the end of the day it's like he is kind of creating this like um it's it's a big lie, you know. <laughs> He's not, he's not special or anything, you know, he is just a man, but it's, you know, the bat part of him represents, you know, a... A hundred percent. Not um, suggesting, that is a hundred percent what is going to happen. You know, in a lot of ways. And that, I, I hate to break it to you. Yeah, why spend money this on a book. softball game I don't know if this girls. book is actually saying why would they play? That, <laughs> that he has two personalities or not. Um, because I know that other books have, but I don't know if the bat and the man are different <laughs> personalities at this point in this <laughs> reading of this book, you know? I, I'm, I'm still It's, you know, on, they talked about it with, um, like, this is focusing on ko is like borderline like about to be depressed like if he did not have the outlet of baseball he'd be super depressed saying that he's a man it seemed like i kept getting the inkling like oh yeah he's bruce wayne but yeah i mean like it's the same thing that happened in volume one just with wakaba like i think their dad just like it was fated to happen you know, born like, in the same hospital, uh, they, living on the same I street with the same birthday, like they're fated together. And so, I like, now it's just like, you know I what? Wakaba, I guess, was fated to die. So now it's Aoba is the is the fated choice. Right. Yes, yeah, she so had to, to me, mention to that. that. I do I'm feel like at times she does it on purpose. to backtrack on what you were attempting to do. I see that, but what, at what point does that get taken too far? I didn't think she and meant for that to happen, that but I do think she's teasing him. It could be. I think he might already be doing that. Um, I forgot about the Batman fact that the most like important part of the list was the engagement like, ring. You know, totally gone. Like, he was Oof. just a normal person. And then he found the journal, and then he was I guess, like, oh, I yeah. see it now. You know, mm -hmm. I see that this is real. Engagement like, was 20. <laughs> Batman has inspired crime at that point. Yeah, she left that as a spoiler. The fe er, created fear to not commit crime. Gotcha. Oh, okay. yeah. That's it. Mm. 
I'm not sure if she's leaving that kind of cookie trail, whatever crumb trail. <laughs> but I mean, so yeah, her sister sees the list and Aoba sees the list as like, you can't do this. Mm. If you get married to him, then he's my older brother and I hate him, kind of in a very childish way. And sh yeah. <laughs> I I think it's kind of it's yeah, cooties first of all, most importantly, and also I think it's just kind of general jealousy of being like this. Taylor, you watched Smallville. Come on, don't act like you don't like long-running things that don't have a good ending. I'm not sure if I agree with him. But that it has a bad ending? Good. That's a fact! <laughs> Nonetheless. Before, before Lost ended, I'm pretty sure it held, like, recent place as, like, worst ending in TV history for a lot of people. Mm. Well, yes, now it's Game of Thrones, 100%. <laughs> Mm -hmm. I mean, okay, no, that's good enough to be bad. Game of Thrones is just bad. There is a little bit of a tiff. There is no redeeming quality at the end of Game of Thrones season eight. Yeah. I'm just, it's just bad. <laughs> right, yeah. Well, well the, the tiff even went further than that in that there were things that he uh, drew that wasn't what... Grant Morrison had intended. Yeah, that, that includes the, the hand piercing and stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that... I, yeah, I think she values people who take stuff seriously. And so his kind of lackadaisical attitude is, you <laughs> know... I mean, her sister asks her, what kind of guy do you like? And she's like, I think I like right. boys who can I don't think Ko even, like, Ko begins to hate out. Aoba. <laughs> right. Yeah. I do like that, you know, he basically says that this is, this is a reaction piece to how Batman is written in the 80s. Which, like, actually, that quote really, like, opens things up to me because it's, like, in, especially in the paper that, you know, I was signing earlier. I don't earlier, think he would out of just, they like, say that, like, you know, this is of part thing. of, like, a I think he's. I think that's of, like, also why he's protecting Batman her so comics. much. Like, but really, this is like, more of a you know, reaction whatever character to later said, those uh, two others, keeps bothering her or whatever. And you know, in the... Them apart, like, leave and her what alone. would continue into also, the 90s, even. I, she's not, I, I did say. use the word aloof, but I do think she's... And not so necessarily that's, that's clueless, really interesting to but me. like you said, she's so um, focused that she doesn't yeah, recognize this like, uh, like, She doesn't, because hmm, she doesn't like tell him off or anything. Oh man, I was even like, gonna, I forgot that I was gonna ask, like, like you know, you if we could about? find any like, like similarities her, like, in like you writing need to and stuff, pitch this uh, way to, uh, like, to doom touching control. her unnecessarily. Because like, I don't. It's like okay. Have you talked to her yet, or? I mean, I don't think she's interested, but I, I guess, also don't uh, think she realized Okay, about the cat. Yeah. It did kind of bother me that it's obviously more cartoony than else. anything else. Realized. <laughs> like, it does not fit with the rest of what's happening. Yeah. <laughs> well, I think every Good time there. she calls, she's like, Who? And as he said, he doesn't I wait guess. for answers. So he just probably hung up. Mm. I guess. I... And who <laughs> can resist me? <laughs> I 
and then he just waits around for nobody to show up. And then he calls back again, and she does the same thing of like, who? Like she doesn't recognize his name. <laughs> yeah, I was send a talking to Co. I'm pretty sure. Use actual mental health <laughs> ideas, but I mean, I guess the most I guess important crazy? character. We'll show you crazy. Yeah. For now. <laughs> I yeah, she's just repeating what people so say. My question is, does Pike as kids do? Because this is a clownfish. Uh, yeah, it's just the symbol of Pisces, which is like the fish in the opposing directions. So it's all fish in the middle, not, I guess. Uh, yeah. Not like a tuna. I, I mean, I would think it's But yeah, overall, yeah, good book. I liked it. Fish. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Also, I just wanted to mention too the, um, you know, with uh, context now after uh, Grant Morrison has come out as non binary, which, you know, <laughs> now that I just say that out loud, I just realized I'm like, I hope I haven't been uh, unconsciously uh, misgendering them i probably have at this point multiple yeah. times yeah um yeah first of all you so i was having real trouble that, but, determining um, who was talking to who at what points yeah, you know, but I then the volume two was like, better because i could look at like what our characters are wearing and what their hair is like and it's like okay you know, they, it's a it's a little different uh, with, like just it is, all of yeah, this stuff, because, like, I think, it's can be, released, like, you know, kind of 18 pages to, at a time each month. They're not or distilled. It's not all about that, obviously. But I think that there is a lot of that present, you know? <laughs> hey, to be fair, like, you know, he, he, he grew up in a. He grew up in an era where that was not okay. So to be fair. Yeah. <laughs> ah yes. Mm. Mm. Uh. <laughs> you were just bad at it. <laughs> you know you know, I'll be honest, like I, I've never seen like a picture of Grant Morrison, but like to me Grant Morrison seems like a young guy. Uh but <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> It's like, yeah, obviously yes. it sounds like the yeah, dad is I'm going to really actually bad. go right in the middle and <laughs> guess 55. Mm -hmm. Nope, I'm <laughs> doing it first. Um, he is 61, so I was, I was off. That is just that's so weird. Yeah. No, he probably went to... He probably went... <laughs> 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 I mean, it's not like they cross paths. They w yeah. he went to her house. <laughs> uh, yes. <laughs> yeah. It's fate acting out. Yes. I will say there's like some side no, characters introduced in the first part. You but know, yeah. like the kind of group that Co has mm -hmm. sold all these sports equipment to and they started the baseball team and they're like we don't have yeah. enough people to play I mean yeah to Co, be fair he was oh, and he's oh like, yeah that's right ah, I, yeah I, I think they baseball. probably both recognize <laughs> like these people like have not moved past uh, they whatever are, trauma they was, were born you know on January 31st, that they 1960. I forget like you know a and good way to phrase it but like they've encountered from Wakaba like passing but like also won't get their kids therapy or anything Anyway, <laughs> so yeah, um, I was just gonna say like I, it's like so uh, this is yeah I just get kind of weirded out by like you know 1960 doesn't seem like that long ago, but then mm -hmm. when you put it in the context of writing these books 40 years ago, it does on. seem that long ago. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, but yeah, they are reasonably old four more years and they will be able to get most senior citizen discounts <laughs> is it able to retire 
<laughs> and yeah. they're like, you just wear that normally. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so there's a lot of setup in this area, and, you know, once the major inciting crisis. incident happens, which, spoilers, Wakaba goes off to swimming camp for a day and does not come back, which is like, the way it's delivered is so good it's not like people rushing in and being like did you hear the news wow. it's just like it's I don't a know. casual thing that... in the background just the news yeah not everything's that deep mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. yeah Some good points I think we'll leave it there yeah we are over time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's just contemplative. There you go. <laughs> it's Rail. not. No, it's not the fifteenth century <laughs> serfdom. Anyway. You're not marrying. Not marrying yeah. to combine. Yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. Pensive. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, now we're gonna end it there instead. <laughs> <What's>, <laughs> okay. All right. I'm ready. Um, I hope everybody. Yeah, is, sure. Uh, has a good rest of their Monday. Um, you can check us out okay. on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube, and YouTube at It's Comic Time, the Comic Panel. Um, and until next time. Uh, this has been the comic panel. I'm Cody. I'm Taylon. And we will see you next time, Monday, 5 to 7, um, at the station, ASUA 91.5 FM. Thank you for listening. You can catch our show Mondays, 5 to 7 p.m. on KSUA 91.5 FM, the People's Radio, in Fairbanks, Alaska. Our Facebook is where you can view some of our earliest shows, as well as receive updates for when we go live on KSUA, when a new episode is uploaded to YouTube, and when a new podcast episode is uploaded. Our handle is It's Comic Time. You can listen to us in podcast format on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, and Podbean as The Comic Panel Podcast. Be sure to follow us on Instagram at the underscore comic underscore panel and follow us on Twitter at the comic panel one. Have a great rest of your day.